It's 1932. The Great Depression gnaws at America's soul. Hope is a rare commodity, harder to find than a dime on the sidewalk. This young woman, let's call her Alice, feels the weight of that hopelessness like a stone in her gut. Every dream she held, a cozy apartment, a steady job, maybe even a family, seems an impossible mirage in the dust bowl of reality. But then a whisper drifts into her ear, a man speaking of invisible bridges, of shaping reality with your mind, of a power within us that can rewrite the script of our lives. This man is Neville Goddard, and his message, though strange at first, ignites a spark in Alice's eyes. Could it be true? Can we truly bend the very fabric of existence to our will? Join me as we unravel the curious tapestry of Neville Goddard's teachings. We'll delve into the power of imagination, the magic of feeling, and the art of living as if your dreams have already come true. This isn't about magic spells or wishful thinking. It's about understanding the hidden rules of the universe and how we, yes, even you and I, can play the game of creation. We've all heard the saying, seeing is believing. But when it comes to manifesting, Neville Goddard would argue that feeling is the real key. Imagine for a moment your deepest desire. Maybe it's that cozy apartment, a promotion at work, or the love of your life. Now, close your eyes and truly step into that reality. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin in your dream apartment, the weight of accomplishment in your promoted self, the flutter of love in that special someone's eyes. Don't just picture it, but embody it. Let the emotions wash over you. This, according to Goddard, is the secret source of manifesting. It's not enough to simply visualize your goal. You must saturate your being with the feeling of having already achieved it. When you radiate that joy, confidence and contentment, you send out a powerful vibration to the universe, a frequency that attracts your desire like a magnet. Think of it like planting a seed. You wouldn't just toss a seed on the ground and expect a rose to bloom, right? You nurture it, tend to it, and most importantly, believe in its potential to blossom. Feeling is that belief, that sunshine and water for your dreams. It nourishes them, keeps them alive, and guides them towards fruition. The idea that our emotions can influence reality might seem outlandish, almost mystical. But here's where things get fascinating. Science is starting to catch up with Neville Goddard's teachings. Studies in quantum mechanics suggest that the observer, us, plays a fundamental role in shaping the observed reality. What we focus on, what we feel deeply, actually affects the quantum dance of particles that make up our universe. Imagine your desired future as a specific vibrational frequency, like a radio station. When you radiate the emotions of achieving your goal, you tune your internal antenna to that station. This, in turn, influences the quantum soup around you, nudging it towards manifesting your desired reality. It's not about magic tricks or manipulating the universe. It's about aligning your inner frequency with the potential that already exists within the vast web of possibilities. Think of historical figures like Helen Keller, who overcame immense challenges through unwavering belief and positive visualization. Or Thomas Edison, who tirelessly experimented driven by the conviction that he could harness electricity. These individuals, consciously or unconsciously, tapped into the power of feeling and aligned themselves with their desired realities. So, the next time you set your sights on a dream, remember, it's not just about the doing, but the feeling. Immerse yourself in the emotions of having already achieved it. Let joy, confidence and gratitude be your guiding stars. When you vibrate at the frequency of your desire, the universe responds in kind, weaving the threads of possibility into the tapestry of your reality. The power lies within you in the symphony of your own emotions. 
It's time to turn up the volume and witness the magic. We've got this feeling thing down. We're vibrating like tuning forks set to the frequency of our dreams. But how do we bridge the gap between our inner world of desire and the physical world where those dreams take shape? Enter the magic of assumptions. Neville Goddard called assumptions the bridge of incidents. It's the unwavering belief, the unshakable conviction that your desired reality is already yours. You assume the role, not out of pretense, but from a deep knowing that your wish is fulfilled. For the woman climbing the corporate ladder, that might mean assuming the confident demeanor of a CEO, wearing the clothes of success and radiating the energy of an accomplished leader. This isn't about faking it till you make it. It's about embodying the feeling of it being made. It's about living and acting from the end as if your dream is already your present reality. Now, this doesn't mean ditching all responsibility and waiting for the universe to deliver. Inspired action plays a crucial role. Think of it as the wind catching your sails. Inspired action isn't about frantic scrambling or desperate effort. It's about taking those steps guided by the confidence and clarity that come from living in your assumed reality. It's sending emails, making calls, attending workshops, all fueled by the unwavering belief that you are on the path to your desired outcome. Remember, assumptions are the bridge and inspired action is the wind. Together, they propel you across the gap between your inner and outer worlds, weaving your dreams into the tapestry of your life. So, choose your assumptions wisely, feel them deeply, and take those inspired steps with conviction. The universe is listening, and the bridge is waiting to be crossed. The dreaded demons of doubt and resistance they rear their ugly heads just when you're feeling confident, your bridge built, and your sails catching the wind. Don't worry, this is perfectly normal. In fact, these obstacles are actually hidden allies, disguised as roadblocks. Doubt whispers in your ear, Are you really worthy of this? Or isn't this just wishful thinking? Resistance throws up hurdles, unexpected events, or seemingly closed doors. It's all part of the universe testing your commitment, your alignment with your desired reality. Remember, doubt and resistance are merely indicators, not failures. They show you where your vibrational frequency might be dipping, where your assumptions need strengthening. Instead of panicking, acknowledge them, then focus on reaffirming your assumptions. Visualize. Feel and embody the emotions of your fulfilled desire even more intensely. Think of it like navigating a treacherous river. Doubts and resistance are the rapids, but your unwavering belief is the sturdy canoe. Instead of fighting the current, use it to your advantage. Paddle harder and trust your course. Every obstacle overcome strengthens your resolve and propels you closer to your destination. So, the next time doubt tries to dim your light, remember it's just a passing cloud. Don't let it derail your journey. Embrace it as a signpost, a call to align your thoughts and feelings with your unwavering assumptions. And keep taking those inspired steps, knowing that every challenge overcome is a stepping stone to the magnificent tapestry of your manifested reality. The universe is rooting for you, and the sun always shines after the rain. Patience and Persistence, the unsung heroes of the manifesting game. We've talked about feeling, assumptions and action, but remember, this isn't instant ramen, it's a slow simmered stew. Your desired reality is a seed you plant, not a microwavable meal. Each day, you nurture that seed with your feelings, assumptions, and inspired actions. You water it with patience, 
understanding that growth takes time, that seasons change, and that sometimes seeds need darkness to germinate. Don't get discouraged by delays or seemingly slow progress. Remember, the oak you admire doesn't sprout fully formed overnight. Persistence is the fertilizer, the constant tending, the unwavering belief that your seed will blossom. It's not about white-knuckled effort, but about gentle persistence, a commitment to showing up each day, tending to your inner garden and trusting the process. Enjoy the journey, savor the sunshine, let the rain nourish your dreams and delight in the unexpected twists and turns. This isn't just about getting the thing, it's about becoming the person worthy of having it. Embrace the lessons, the challenges, and the moments of pure joy that come with tending your inner garden. Plant your seeds with faith, water them with patience, and nurture them with persistent care. The universe is your fertile ground, and your dreams are the vibrant flowers waiting to bloom. Trust the process, enjoy the journey, and believe in the magic of your own creation. The tapestry of your reality is waiting to be woven with the threads of your dreams, your unwavering belief, and the patient persistence that allows them to blossom. Remember, the power to manifest doesn't lie in distant stars or ancient texts. It resides within you, in the symphony of your emotions, the unwavering strength of your belief, and the persistent tending of your inner garden. You are the weaver, the artist, the sculptor of your own reality. Step into your power. Feel the emotions of your fulfilled desires. Assume the role of who you already are. Take those inspired actions with unwavering conviction. Don't let doubt dim your light and let patience be your guiding star. This is your invitation to rewrite the script, to become the architect of your dreams, to witness the magic that unfolds when you align your inner world with the boundless potential of the universe. Remember, it's not just about getting, it's about becoming. Become the version of you worthy of your wildest dreams. Go forth, manifest, and paint your own masterpiece on the tapestry of existence.